All right, this is Engage New York, Module 2, Lesson 17, Concept Development. All right, to start off with, let's. I want to draw a picture for you guys really quick. I want you to use the word dividend, and I want you to write this down. I want you to write dividend. I want you to write divisor. And I want you to write quotient. So the dividend is always the whole number that you are dividing. You have to divide this number up. You have to divide this whole number up. And the divisor is how many times you're going to divide it up. This tells you how many equal groups, right? This is your equal groups is on the outside. How many equal groups do you need to make? And you're going to make the equal groups from this whole number, right? And the quotient is how many are in the group. How many are in the group? If this you have 10 groups and there are this many inside the group, right? I mean, I know I was talking to, talking this morning and it's like an array. You guys, it's like this is how many groups. This is how many are in the groups, right? This is the total whole is in the middle, right? Yes or no? All right. So as we move forward, I want you to get, I want you to have like this connection. I want you to have this essential knowledge. I want you to have this enduring understanding. The enduring means it, it doesn't leave you. It stays with you. So enduring, I want you to have the enduring understanding that the word whole means dividend. The word whole means dividend. The word whole means dividend, right? Okay, so the whole is the dividend. It's what you're going to break up, yes? It's the actual thing you're going to separate. And this outside tells you how many times you're going to separate it. The quotient tells you how many are inside each group, yes? Okay, so our goal today is to use basic facts to approximate quotients with two-digit divisors. So our big idea today is to take the whole and to round it. We're gonna round the whole and round, we're gonna round the whole and we're gonna round the divisor. So if we round 410, what are you gonna, round 410 to. I mean, sorry, 409 to. What are you going to round 409? Is 409 closer to 400 or is it closer to 500? Okay, so we're going to round 409 to 400, right? And we're going to round 19. What is 19 closer to 0 or 20 or 10 or 20? Oh, sorry. 20, right? That's essentially what we're doing today, friends. So now, 20 divided by 400 is what? So if I could also do this, 400 divided by 20, and we can go to our pattern, Right? Two goes into four two times, and there's a zero left over. Correct? Here is a strategy. Here is a strategy. Right? All right. So now, that's basically what we're doing today. So our answer to this problem should be a 
about 20. So if this is our rounded, here is the actual. So let's try it. So if we know that 20 goes into 42 times, 19 will go about how many times? So 19 times 2 is what? It won't go, it won't go twice, right? So, is our answer close? It's very close, correct? All right, so now let's go to our next problem, 149 divided by divided into 71 groups. How many will be in each group? So if I have 79 groups and I have 149, I wonder how many will be inside each group. So let's quickly, let's round our divisor 70 to what? I mean 71 to... Okay, now let's round our dividend and get used to writing this down and making that connection. So 149, what do you want to round if you had to round it to the nearest like whole whole? Let's go up a little bit farther. No. Let's go to 150. Or let's go 140. Let's, what the heck? Let's go 140. Let's make it really easy. So 140 divided by 70. It's two, right? Oh my gosh, we just, if we did 150, we'd have to have like a decimal in there. And so I was trying to avoid the decimal. So I went 140. So the what I did is I kind of looked ahead and I thought ahead and I thought, you know what? 140 is going to be a lot easier to divide than 150. So I looked for I looked for a multiple. Uh, I looked for a multiple of 70 and a multiple of 70 equals 140, right? Because one ten, seven tens, right? 14 tens, right? That's where that connection comes. All right. So the closest multiple of 70 is 140. So if we go back to remember in our in our fluency how we went like four tens, right? And then we went four tens, eight tens, right? Right? Twelve tens. Okay. Well, that's essentially what we did here. We went okay seven tens. Oh, we went seven tens. 14 tens, then it would be 21 tens, right? So I started looking for multiples and this is the, this is the strategy I used to try to find a number that's really easy to divide by, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go over the problem set before you start working on it. And it says, estimate the quotient for the following problems. Round the divisor first. So we have 609 divided by 21. So they said to round, round the divisor first. So I'd round 21 to 20. Now I'm going to think of a multiple of 610. 
So what would be really easy to divide 20 into? It would be 600. Now, let's go over here. It 29 would be a really good idea to round 29 to what? 30. 30. Now, if I have a divisor of 30, what do you think I should round 913 to to make it really easy to divide? Or 900, right? All right, over here, 37. 37, I would, would make sense to round to? Okay, now think of those tens. So if I have four tens, eight tens, 12 tens, right? So I want you to think that way. So 826, what would be really easy to divide 40 into? Eight hundred, right? Now let's go down to D. Seventy-three would be really easy to round to seventy, right? Now one forty-one. Based on the fact that I know that this is seventy, my divisor seventy. What should I round one forty-one to to make it easy to divide? Or 140, right? Do you guys see the pattern? All right. So then 58 would round to 60. And then now based on what you know about multiplication, should, what should I round 241 to to make it really easy to divide 60 into? All right, so now, on the back side, since you're getting in the hang of the front side, a video game store has a budget of $825 and would like to purchase new video games. If each video game costs $41, estimate the total number of video games the store can purchase with its budget. Explain your thinking. So I want you to estimate, just like you were doing here, solve and tell me what, how, what, what is the process that you did? What were you thinking? Were you relating the numbers to multiplication facts? That is what you're explaining. Now, Jackson estimated that 637 divided by 78 as 640 divided by 80. He reasoned, now look, Look at the way he reasoned because you are going to have to reason in the same way in the question above. He explained, he reasoned that 64 tens divided by eight tens should be eight tens. That would be a beautiful explanations, hint, hint. Is Jackson reasoning correct? If so, explain why. If it's not, correct his thinking. But this right here would be a great way to explain your thinking. That how many tens divided by how many tens should give you about how many tens. That is using your reasoning skills, okay? All right, continue to go. And I'm sure you will do quite well.